Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between and beyond, my name is Mystical Heart, and I'm here to announce that, by the sheer size of my backlog, I'm going to be dedicating most of this year to two main projects going on at the same time. Technically three, but we'll get into that in a Over on YouTube, I know I've been neglecting it, so I will be releasing the remaining VODs left over from my previous bodies. Like, I know I've I had a couple of bodies that, that you might have seen over the past year. Yeah, um, well, actually, a year and a half, technically. Um, yeah, I'm getting on with, I'm going to be getting on with naming, naming and releasing those hopefully beginning April 1st hopefully that's the plan there will be stuff like Assassin's Creed 1 to 3 parts with the exception of recoded um I haven't exactly started well I'm about halfway through I've got to go back to it it's I might just restart the playthrough entirely because I'm really feeling it. We'll we'll see. We'll see. Um. Yeah, as I can see, three. I actually have to go back to. I have to go back to two and Brotherhood and Revelations as well. I think because I promised I would get all the, the trophies on stream. Whoops. Um, that's not happening with me, but I still have to go back to it because I haven't seen DLC. And Fantasy of Star Online 2 Genesis and base game classic as well. I started that October time, I think it was, and then I kind of no, I, I actually started in August when uh, the PlayStation. Or was that September? Fuck. Who cares? Um, the, game, the game came out on PlayStation 4. I got it. Played it. All the content that I felt I needed to. Then I didn't go back to it when the new expansion came out recently. And it being an MMO is something that I've got to come back to repeatedly. So, yeah, that's going to be coming out eventually. So probably when I'm more into the story of the original as well. And by original, I mean online class, online two classic rather than the original. Star series I also have to cover at some point. Yes, I'm bad at finishing games. But anyway, once I'm caught up with all of those, then comes the fun part. I will begin to release a long, long Poker Marathon saga. Technically, the Poker Marathon happened in like four parts. Begin back with um, Titan Pearl when that first came out. Um, and it evolved into Legends Arceus. But then I didn't touch the, the games for six months. And then Scarlet came out. And I thought, fuck it, let's just get all up on the Switch. And, and right now, well, not right this moment, but recently I have been playing through Scarlet. And we're about six of the way through the, the 
Paladin decks have already been the main story. A little bit of post game to do as well, and there's an event happening. And, well, happening right now, which drops on Monday, which I forget. You know how it is, Pokemon. The point is, we've got a lot going on there. With uh, Finding Pearl, Legends Arceus, Let's Go Eevee, Scarlet, and... Once I'm done with Scarlet, I'll be moving on to on Sword because I hit a follower goal over there, which I really had to push for. Um, but it was because of that follower goal that I thought, wait a minute, I could do a living deck. Pokemon Home. So I began mapping that out. And very bluntly, I'm close to the end of that. Once I'm done with Ultra Moon, it is just sort of Pokemon that I can get in Sword. And then I'm done with it. I'm done with the living deck. But that isn't enough. Because I've had to ask some friends for help. As you see me mention throughout my Pokemon stream. Pod stream. I had to ask for help for event Pokemon. Not Celebi. I got Celebi covered and Deoxys, which was a lucky break. It's a whole thing. I'll explain later. Um. Stuff like Zerud, stuff like Meltan and El Meltan. Pokemon that I could feasibly get if I get Pokemon Go working on my phone. I tried so hard to get it working, but it just wouldn't. I've got one gig of RAM on it, what would you expect me to do with that? So, with some help, my friends were very understanding, they gifted me Pokemon, and they gifted me more Pokemon, and they gifted me more Pokemon, and basically I am um, I, in amongst all those gifted Pokemon, I also got a few shiny legendaries, like a lot of shiny legendaries. And while I was doing my living decks, I had to play black and white, and black and white too, which has a, a DNS, um, a DNS exploit to get event Pokemon, some of which were shiny legendaries. And so basically I've now said, fuck it, let's do a shiny living decks as well. <laughs> um So I'm in the process of achieving both the living decks and the shiny living decks simultaneously. And the streams of basically where's that where the, the birthing point of that idea came from. So that's where most of the work will be on stream and in the vlogs. 
originally I was only going to focus on the submissive and breedable Pokemon. Insert Vaporeon here, because God damn it, why does he not want a fucker fish? Going off topic. Um But looking at the list, I did figure out a few things. There are only 75 Pokemon that I cannot currently um, can, cannot currently find your hunt on the Switch. But they can be hunted on the 3DS. Which I'm prepared to do. In fact, I've already started on about 630 odd uh, restarts or resets to Poipol. Or at least the first Poipol. I have to do two. Um, the. Um, but the, but the point is, I, I'm prepared to do that. There is one problem Pokemon that I cannot do on, on Switch, I can do on 3DS, I should be able to do on Switch. And that's fucking Spinder. For some fucking reason. No. Let me let me explain this. For some fucking reason fucked up the coding of Spinder in Shining Pearl and Brilliant Diamond. This means this means you can't you can't put them in home or you, and you can't take them from home put them in BDS3 it is so fucking stupid and you will see in the bots there is a moment of clarity where I just go Oh they fucked up the They fucked up the coding Those motherfuckers So um Yeah Yeah Um That's exciting I'm gonna be doing that in Pokemon X that's, that's the only game, the, the only Pokemon that I have to get in X. I mean, I could push it into Ultra Moon and do it there, but it, it's easier in X, I think. Um. The bug itself doesn't just annoy me, it's the fact that the bug has not been addressed. It's been 18 months. It's been nearly 18 months since the game came out, and that bug has stayed. And it's been over a year since it, since it came to light that this bug exists. And they haven't done anything about it. It's, it's fine. You know what? It's fine. I've got a way around it. We'll do it off, off stream. And then do it again when I get to Pokemon X on stream. Because yes, that's the key thing about all of this. I do plan to do all the shiny hunts 
again on stream. Just for consistency and um, completion sake and also to compare how I how I did before to how I how I did on actual hardware compared to how I do on that other set on that other setup that I cannot talk legally um apart from the tiny lot pokemon and uh spinder all of the pokemon from gen 1 through 9 are available on twitch in legendaries mythicals region exclusives and ultra beasts the only the only sh shiny event pokemon that i worry about I need to truly worry about is Celebi in Crystal on the Virtual Console on 3GS. Thankfully I've already got the 3GS with a Celebi from Crystal on my account. So the setup is already here in my hands. I just need do it again and I'm not even worried about time limits or whatever because even though the eShop is going down in less than two weeks less than three weeks sorry I already have the games on on a 2GS so why do I need to worry On top of all of those uh, Pokemon the e region exclusives, the mythicals, the legendaries, the ultra beasts, the paradox Pokemon I guess. I mean, I can't really shiny hunt those yet, but eventually they will be added to this chaos. I'm also doing a full unknown decks, unknown report thing. Tiny Hunt as well. Thankfully, Legends Arceus covers that, so I'm completely fine with. I'm completely fine with just going into one place, one location in that game, going out again. It's just a matter of time with that game. So yeah. I'm fully aware that I'm going to have to play Gen 2 and Gen 7 on stream. Three shiny hunting Pokemon that I do shiny hunt myself. But the rest of it will be done on stream. And I'm bringing you all along on the journey. Whether you want it or not. That is the plan. Um, I am going to have to rebuy potentially two Pokemon games. Um, right. Although, to be fair, rebuying Crystal, rebuying Omega Ruby, we owned with the Oxus on it, which was weird. Like, I wasn't expecting to have a copy of Deox, a copy with Deoxys sitting there in my, in my fucking PC, just waiting to be taken out. That, that was shocking. Um, rebuying X, buying Ultra Moon for myself for the first time. I'm not above doing that. I would just prefer not to. Which means I'm probably going to have to buy Pokemon Let's Go Eat. No, Let's Go Pikachu. 
and go through that pain as well. I'm not, I'm not complaining because I need it for both. Uh, uh, my completionist streams and also this I need living decks but it is kind of a bit of annoying it's a bit of a nuisance that, that's all the final thing I want to point out is that once we're done with the main bulk of the Mock Marathon Wad releases, I will be going into the sort of A, B, um, slot situation again, but in a different way, um, Over on Twitch, I will be doing mainline Road to Smash Brothers streams again. So we will be doing Oh Yo, Zelda, Kirby, finally getting around to Kirby, like you, Sakurai. Um, Metroid, uh, Mother, God help me. Um, you know, all, all of the main fighter games from Smash, uh, um, those will be be beginning up again, and then in between those games, I will be doing the Shiny Hunt streams. So it'll be going, say, Mario, Tiny Hunt, Donkey Kong, Tiny Hunt, Kirby, Shiny Hunt, on and on and on. And then eventually I'll be doing two Pokemon games at a time. Because, <sighs> fucking hell, I've got to do Pokemon. Oh, but, but the uh, Smash Brothers games I'll be doing, they'll be in order of the franchises, but they won't be in order of the full timeline of Smash that I have. So meticul meticulously put together over the last 10 fucking years, God. Fucking damn it, I've wasted 10 years. I'm fine. Thank you for bearing with me on this rant. Slash explanation. Things will be explained properly. Some goes on. Um... Link to my Twitch down below, link to the spreadsheet of my shiny decks and the scats because, oh fuck me, I didn't actually keep track of that. Um, also down below. And thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing with me throughout all this chaos. Someday I'm gonna hit. Someday I'm gonna hit affiliate over on Twitch, and then I can start using emotes, and uh, uh, probably making a bit of money as well. Wouldn't be bad. Look, if you if you if you're gonna. Be on Twitch or on YouTube. You might as well admit that you're trying to get a little bit of money out of it. Um, 
or a little bit of thumping out of it. But yeah, thank you for watching. My name is Mystical Heart, and the Road to Smash Brothers goes on and 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 on. And on.